Hey guys, what's up? Uh, out in South Dakota, getting some steel. Got some fencing we we're trying to get done, so I had to go pick up a bunch of steel fencing. Just got done loading it, just freaking strapping it down. Got like seven, eight straps on it because I got a bunch of pipe and I don't really want it. I think the pipe's like 24 feet. I don't really need a 24 foot pipe dropping through somebody's windshield or the back of my truck cab either. If I have to stop quick, so got her strapped down pretty good. You can't probably can't see it back there, but when I get to where I'm at, I'll get out and show you all the stuff I got. But just gonna take her slow through town until I get out on the highway, and uh, gotta stop and check the cattle out here, so I can check my load then. See you later. Bye. Oh, that guy just about drove in the ditch. I don't even think he's vlogging while he's driving. The hardest thing about driving and vlogging is trying not to bounce the damn camera when you're bouncing the vehicle. That's the hardest part. The hardest part is not paying attention. It's trying not to bounce the bounce the camera. Packages, packages. Can I do you need to be very careful. I know how to be careful. Let me start it for you. Do you really think that's... I'll let it cut the edges. Do I think that's what? Let her do that? Why not? Because it says do not open the knife. Yes, I'm cutting the critical parts. Okay. Lift both hands all very good. Okay, can you put the scissor back? Yeah. You're a very good helper. What is this? I love this. What is it? I don't know. What, do what are those? Do you know what they are? No. They're guns. No, it's not a gun. Sweet. Mass Pro Shops catalog. Daddy, what? I spent enough money. I told you I'm done. And it was all money that I had. It just needed to be moved into the bank. It was your secret money. What secret money? From your jobs you do on the side. <laughs> Daddy, I can't open this. Open that one. <clears throat> what are you doing, Dad? Oh, I am so good. Daddy. What man do you know tries on his clothes when they come in the mail and gets excited? Whoa! Woo. I was worried that these weren't going to be the right size because I ordered large. For my largeness. For my largeness. It looks like you don't have any pants on. <laughs> My largeness. We don't have any milk. Yeah. Mom. Dad has to go shopping. Squeeze me, bacon powder. Are you scared? You're like clutching the fridge. You don't have to be scared. I'm right here. Watch your hand. Thirsty. I'm so 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 thirsty. Okay. I'm gonna go wash the truck. I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. in here while we're grinding hay.
take the gum drop up and drop the gum drop in. Round and round she goes. So it comes out there. You gotta switch files. Still vlogging, still grinding. I just got done grinding hay, uh, which we do about every three weeks in the fall, winter, and spring for feed for the cattle. So we mix it with our corn silage. For the first time this year, because we're weaning, it's weaning week. So there's going to be a lot of noise around here. But you can see, those used to be bales. Good morning. South Dakota, up rounding up all our cows and calves here. Separate the calves from the cows. Start feeding them. Weaning. So. Trying to get them to go that way. But it's kind of rough country. So they pick and choose their paths. I'll check back later. Oh, we finally got them going the right way. So this is the last group. We'll be rounding up today. The rest will just be sorting and hauling. And working the calves, giving them their shots. Weighing them. And then listening to them whine all day long. For about three days straight, three or four days. You can see they're going all in a nice single file line. Making a hard left up there, headed up to the corral, which is up in this cluster of trees. That's where we'll load them and sort them. So we're headed out with the trailers now that we got everything rounded up, sorted. We're heading out with the trailers to load up the calves and make the trip back to Minnesota. It's gone pretty good so far, but we're just kind of still early yet, so we'll see how it goes. But normally, between my brother and I, we're pretty experienced and still pretty young yet, so this stuff is kind of secondhand nature to us. So what might seem difficult for some isn't too bad for us because we're obviously used to it. It's probably the same with any other job. So. Pulling up to the corral. You can kind of see there all the mamas are there getting irritated. Yo ho. So, I was on my way back. I was oh, probably just about halfway, maybe a little bit over. It's about an hour trip. Anyway, blew a tire. So I had to get out and change it, and uh, the frickin' bolts were like full of dust and dirt, so it took me quite a while to get them all off, drive the tire or the trailer up on blocks, and put them all back on. I wish I would have had some oil penetrant or something to loosen up those nuts, because they were squeaking and squawking and with the tire iron pretty much just spent my uh, energy for the whole day doing that but I got the tire on and hotter than hotter than H-E double hockey sticks so as you can see I just 
like sweating and dump water on my top of my head. It's hot. So, I've had my friggin' excitement for the day. I could uh, spare doing any, any other crap like that. So, thank goodness this is my only trip. So, other people gotta go back, but I get to stay. So, hopefully, I got about 25 miles left to go. Hopefully, I can get her back in one piece. So, see ya. Bye.